Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Maker Hawk electric load test. It says USB load tester is 150 watts, 200 volts, 20 amps resistor, adjustable constant current battery capacity tester, and so on and so on. By the way, this is the successor of this small item here. You can see the size. Uh, here I mean they are even using the same listing as for this one which I bought a couple of years ago and I was actually really happy with it but unfortunately it was damaged in a test just recently so I'm going to take this out of the box and I'm going to specially testing this for USB because uh, it's hard to find uh, videos about testing USB here with this device most are just testing it with like for a battery or so but I'm concentrating here on uh, USB. By the way, what's a little bit disappointing here that we get it just in this box. Here we had a nice case. It was nicely protected. When you have to transport it or just want to store it nice and safe, this is a little bit difficult with this uh, device here. So let's take it out and see what we get. And you can see there's absolutely no protection. It's already difficult to take this thing out. Comes even with some European or even Swiss uh, adapter. That's pretty cool here. Get this small instructions manual. I'm going to show you that pretty quickly. Maybe it gives you some additional information. I hope it's focusing nicely. Just one side. So here's what we get regarding the cables. This is some, uh, yeah, I don't know how this is called, some crocodile thing uh, with this open ending, no real plug here. Then USB, at least we get some USB here with these crocodile clips and also the red one here. So let's try to take it out. And of course you can see, I mean, everything is totally open, unprotected. So. Yeah, this is a little bit difficult. I don't know how to store. I mean, at the end, I will have to use this uh, box, which was even the shipping box, I think. So let's remove this part here. I don't even know what it is for. Is that some kind of protection here? Yeah, a little bit more protection would have been nice. And here's some additional stuff. I mean, we need the power adapter. Yeah, so let's power it on here in the back. That's supposed to be the power supply. Let's plug it in. That definitely works. Let's see if we can also use normal USB power. One of the biggest warnings we can see in the instructions is uh, to turn these uh, regulators down so you are not burning anything and not yourself. To reset all the data, we can use this button here, like there's a long press uh, to zero all the data. Or we have also other options like double click, three clicks, four clicks to set uh, or reset different things like double click here. Uh, that's to for the capacity reset. And when we single click, we go into this uh, detailed setup here where we can set a lot of things like the background illumination with a uh, double click. We can, uh, I think, with double click or with triple click, we can change that. Triple click, yeah, will reduce the background light time. Uh, when we double click, we will increase and then the maximum is, uh, I think, one minute and then it's permanently on. So I'm not going into details of all the settings. What I also want to try here is uh, if you can just normal power this with uh, micro USB 5 volts. I think it's not possible, but let's also see. Yeah, at the moment it works. I mean, it's described that it needs, I think, 6 volts or more power supply. 6 volts to 12 volts, and this is 5 volts input, normal standard micro USB, 5 volts input, and it seems to work. I don't know if it works for everything. Now I got a little bit in trouble. I have to reset this uh, low voltage uh, warning here. When we uh, press slowly about 6 times or so, and then it goes into setting and you can uh, set uh, the high voltage warning, low voltage warning, something like that. And then you can increase or decrease. So how this works with this uh, low voltage protection or with all the values, you can see you can press two or three times with two times. 
it increases with three times it decreases and then uh, this is just giving the direction then you can long press here and then it will go into the direction which you have set so when you increase this with two times pressing and then you long press then it will go up automatically you just keep pushing and then with three pressing three times pushing it will go down and then you can keep pushing and then it will go down to zero again this is how this works yeah the description is a little bit very very simple i wish there would be a better description here but what i see here is that we can just adjust the current here that's the fine tune that's the coarse tune so i highly recommend to just use this at least at the beginning especially with low power just use this thing here and i haven't found anything to increase the voltage or trigger a quick charge or pd or something like that i think that's definitely not here but still i'm going to try to uh, discharge usb we have a usb-c uh, power bank or uh, at least this plug here is usb-c let's try if we can start the thing here it says five volts now let's increase a little bit okay and we can see yeah that goes up pretty fast that's crazy here yeah it's better not to do anything with this one here especially when we are just testing a power bank we are already at two amps with just uh, rotating here a little bit so I think there is actually no starting button. I just increase here the amps or reduce the uh, resistance and then it goes up automatically and starts counting the watt hours, the amp hours or like uh, milliamps. Yeah, it's a little bit more than milliamps. You can see that here. So this is, I think, as I can see that it's definitely more intended for real high power device and definitely not uh, especially for usb or so i mean you can test usb device uh, definitely not a problem it's really powerful if you have pa very powerful usb device uh, you can get quite some power out of it but there's no p like 60 watts or so which you could test or 100 watts I don't see this happening here because we are only uh, at, at 5 volts. So let's see if we can also change the settings while it's running. Because before it was always triggering the low voltage alert. So let's click a couple of times here. Now we are back here in the low voltage uh, setting. Or yeah okay now we can increase that. Let's see. So maybe for USB it would be good to be at around maybe a little bit more than 4 volts. So here we are. And now let's go to the main menu. Yeah, it's still working. Low voltage protection is in place and it's working. So we can use that definitely also for like USB power banks testing or so. But it's definitely not the uh, preferred object for testing this thing is made for like real high power things uh, really strong batteries these things and not for uh, like these small items uh, to test power banks or these things so i stop it i think there is no button to stop unfortunately i mean you can turn it down to zero then it will stop or it will trigger at the end because of the low voltage protection that's it i remove the thing and yeah it yeah okay now we have the low voltage warning again at least that works we can remove the thing somehow seems really to work with the five uh, volts from the usb at least for me but uh, yeah for me everything is a little bit I would say yeah, it's hard <laughs> to find the right words, but you can also see these uh, regulators here. They are pretty loose. I mean, the, the thing which is most secure, that's the fan here. Everything else, yeah, I think these things are also well attached, but these knobs here are pretty shaky, pretty loose. So, yeah, a little bit mixed opinion on that. And one more thing regarding USB, because I've been writing a quick charge and these things here is this USB, but of course it's a USB A, so it's rather output and it really works as output. I mean, the power comes from these power banks, goes 
into the test and then it comes out here and we can test it here so we have some quick charts 2.0 3.0 but of course it's not from this device it's actually testing this device at least as far as i can see and we can also work with higher voltage we can see that here that's the quick charge 3.0 triggering which we are using here and we can increase you can see that we can increase the voltage we are now here at 12 volts we can see confirmation 12 volts but the 12 volts is not coming from here uh, that's from here and also when we want to test it i mean we could probably go now with this 12 volts we could go into this load module here yeah now of course it needs an additional power supply but we could do the load test here but the consumer would be this thing here the consumer wouldn't be this things but what we can do we can use this uh, device here as a trigger you can see I have triggered a quick charge 2.0 to 12 volts. We have also 12 volts or at least close to that here. And now we are using this device as a client, as a consumer. This device is not consuming uh, power anymore. It's, uh, it's powered externally here anyway. So the whole consumption is coming from this device, which is uh, much more powerful than this consumer here and it's also registering the whole power the watt hours the uh, ampere hours milliampere hours milli watt hours these things it's registering everything here so we can use this to test uh, definitely but we have to use an external trigger looks like there's no built-in trigger here into this device unfortunately would have been really nice so i could use that here but unfortunately not usb-c to usb-c so i can't use the 20 volts because it looks like it's not working usb-c to usb-c anymore for some reason i can show you that usb-c to usb-c when i connect this here it's always showing zero volts i mean i can also use other um, devices to show that there is some power here uh, you can see uh, we have definitely uh, five volts here when i go back to this device showing zero for some reason so looks like it's defective i have to send it back but uh, usually it should work like that so if it fits for the application which you want it i think this is very specific unit it's hard to find anything similar to that uh, especially not in this price range so yeah from my side I, I, I can't give a really full recommendation but depends on your needs if you're working with higher voltage higher current or so yeah why not and uh, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing anyway down into the description so you can check it out and load it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and most happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.